Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem from crazy pro from problem set 6.3 question number 20. So the question is using the Laplace transform and showing the details solve this differential equation here. We have y double prime plus 10y prime plus 24y is equal to 144 t squared. And the initial condition is y0 is equal to 19 over 12 and y prime 0 is equal to minus 5. This should be, it's not there, but here, ah, okay, make mistake on typing there, but that's okay. Okay, now maybe let's take a note first. Okay, that the Laplace transform of this part here, y double prime t, if we transform it into frequency domain, we will get the s squared y s minus s multiplied by y zero minus y prime zero. That's good. And now the second one, we need y prime of t and we transform it into Laplace domain. So we will have s y s minus y zero. And then we have 144 t squared. We need the polynomial form t to the n. If we transform this into Laplace, we will have n factorial divided by s to the n plus 1 power. Okay, but we have n is equal to 2 here, so we will have t squared, and that will be on the right hand side, we will have, this will be 2 factorial, which is also 2, and then divided by this one here, s to the third power. Okay, that's good. This is all that we need, and now let's transform this left hand side into Laplace domain. So, this y double prime becomes, we will have, just let's use square brackets here. We'll have s squared y s, and then minus s y zero, and then minus y prime zero. Good. And then we will have plus 10y prime. So I will have 10. And then that will be multiplied by this one here. So I will have s y s and then minus y0. Okay, that's good. And then for this one, I just have 24. Y t becomes Y s. And then on the right hand side, we will have 144 t squared. So I will have 144 multiplied by 2. So I will have 288. And the denominator is s to the third power. Okay, good. Now let's do some simplification here. So we will have s squared Y s. And then minus, so I will have 19 over 12, and then S, and then minus Y prime 0, and that will be plus 5. That's good, and then we will have plus 10S, Y S, okay. And then minus y0, so I will have minus 19 over 12 multiplied by 10, that will be 190 divided by 2. Okay, and then plus 24ys, and then we will have 288 divided by s to the third. Okay, now let's take out the ys here. So we will have it like this, s squared, and then plus this one, I will have 10s, so the plus is bad. So I, so I will have 
10s and then the one that contains ys is 24 so i will have plus 20 and this is ys okay and then the remaining so i will have minus 19 over 12 s and then 5 is 60 divided by 12 so i will have minus 130 divided by 12 so this 5 minus 190 over 12 is this one and i think i got all for the left hand side so i will have 288 divided to the s to the third power okay good uh okay maybe now we can make the denominator or oh, let's move this to the right hand side so i will have it like this so i'll have s squared plus 10s plus 24 of ys and that will equal to what can we do from here i will have 288 divided by s to the third power and then plus 19 over 12 s and then plus 130 over 12 okay i think we will make the denominator the same which is 12 s to the third power okay let's do exactly that so i will have s squared plus 10 s plus 24 of ys and that will equal to i think we will have three four five six oh nice number divided by 12 s to the third power we multiply both numerator and denominator by 12 and then for this one i will have 19 s not 19 s 19 s to the fourth power divided by 12 to the s to the third power okay good and then finally we will have this one here 130 s to the third power divided by 12 s to the third power okay i think what can we do from here uh, i think we can factorize this so we will have s plus 4 and then s plus 6 multiplied by ys and then on the numerator i will have 19 s to the fourth power plus 130 s to the third power plus 3 4 5 6 and then divided by 12 s to the third power okay good what can we do my question is can we factorize the numerator from here maybe let's check i will check with wolfram alpha and i will tell you the answer okay so it can be factorized so i will have s plus 4 and then s plus 4 6 of ys and then we will have s plus 4 and s plus 6 and then multiplied by 19 s square and then minus 60 s and then plus 144 yeah you can check it with wolfram alpha factorize this and then let's divide all of that by 12 s to the third power okay oh and that will cancel nicely here so we will have this one and this one canceled with this one and this one right so this is s plus 4 s plus 4 s plus 6 and s plus 6 oh which is a nice lucky draw so we will have ys 
is equal to 19 s squared and then minus 60s plus 144 divided by 12 s to the third power. But we can divide each term in the numerator by the denominator. So we will have ys. We will have 19 over 12 divided by s. And then minus 5. Minus 5, I think. Minus 5 over s squared. And then plus. 12 divided by s to the third power. Okay, I think we just need to transform this back into time domain. Okay, uh, but our slide is full. Let's clean it up. Okay, we just need to transform this back into t or time domain. So, we also have this one here. So, if n is equal to 1, so I will have t here. That will be 1 factorial, which is 1, and then divided by 1 plus 1. So I will have s squared. But if n is equal to 0, so that is a constant. So I will have 1 in the Laplace domain. It will be n is equal to 0, right? So I will have 0 factorial, which is 1, and then s to the 1, which is s. So I will have 1 over s. And so we can uh, rewrite this here like this. So I will have ys. That will be 19 over 12 of 1 over s. And then minus 5 multiplied by 1 over s squared. And then plus. Remember we have 2 in the numerator so i will have 6 divided by 2 over s to the third power okay now we can just make it to the time domain let's use another color here maybe let's use let's use what orange so i will have yt is equal to 19 over 12 is is 1 over s, I mean 1 over s is just 1, so I will have multiplied by 1, and then minus 5, and here we will have this one is, 1 over s squared is t, and then plus I will have 6, and in the brackets we will have t squared, t squared, okay, let's just multiply off all of them i will start from the right here because this is the most have the exponent of largest so i will have 6 t squared and then minus 5 t and then 19 over 12 multiplied by 1 is just 19 over 12. and i think that is the final result for this problem hopefully this will help you solve this problem Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.